Good morning, everyone. This is Mitch at IndieSoft. Tip Tuesday today. Um, kind of an exciting day for us at IndieSoft. We're actually not only bringing you a tip today, but we're also doing a full webinar on the release of version 12 uh, a little bit later this morning. So if you haven't signed up already, I do encourage you to try to get signed up for that. Um, we're going to be doing that at 11.30 Eastern time. And then uh, it is going to be available on YouTube after the fact if you're not able to dial in. But I do encourage you to sign up for that and uh, participate in our webinar today. So, okay. So here's what I want to do a tip on today. I was uh, doing a demo last week. I think it was last week. And it was a really customer who they used Excel for all of their tolerance calculations, which they wanted to know how does IndieSoft handle that. And, and we actually do handle that. We have a utility in the system called our formula builder. So when you're creating your test point data sheets, we give you a quick and fast way to auto calculate your tolerance minus and your tolerance plus fields. And there's even a few other fields that you can calculate as well. So I wanted to start with actually showing you a real simple Excel driven data sheet to kind of give you the background on this. So a lot of folks, they do use Excel because Excel does formulas kind of simple, right? You, you can simply just go in and like for me, I've got 150 foot pound torque wrench. I've got my three test points. I'm doing 20% of full scale, 50% of full scale, 100% of full scale, which means my standard or nominal is 30, 75, and 150, okay? So in here, I've also declared that I'm using a 3% uh, formula or 3% of tolerance on this data sheet. So, it, you know, we all know Excel. So when we build these formulas in Excel, you're simply just doing the equals and you're referencing the column, or the, excuse me, not the column, but the cell itself that has the value that's gonna be a part of your formula. So in this case, I'm doing, you know, B4. And if I go back and look at my formula, I'm just multiplying that by one minus F4, which is my tolerance of three, and just divided by 100. So essentially what that's gonna do is, that's gonna take 3% off the low side when I calculate that. So just as a quick example, if I type in 100, you know, it's gonna change that to 97 and 103, okay? So we'll go back to 30, and um, just, just to kind of matches up my, my description column here. So in Excel, again, when you build your formulas here, you're referencing very specific cells and then using your algebraic functions, okay? So in IndieSoft, we're actually gonna be doing the same thing the only difference is we're not referencing cells, right? So in an Excel file, I'm referencing B4 or I'm referencing B5, depending on you know which formula that I'm looking at. In IndieSoft, we're gonna reference database values, right? So our data is not stored in B2. Our data is stored in the field called the standard column, or our data is stored in the field called the tolerance minus column, right? So we're using database fields. So what I want to do before I actually go in and show you how to build these formulas and get started on that, I want to show you how it works, right? So what I've got is I've got a sample torque wrench created, um, 150 foot pounds, just like I had in my Excel file. And before I actually go and create any of my data points, I'm going to come over here and identify my tolerance type. So I previously had it built, a percent of reading tolerance type. I'm going to indicate that I want to use a tolerance of three. Okay, I could do a different tolerance value or percent value if I wanted to. And of course, I've got my foot pound unit of measure and resolution set up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our description column. We're going to type in 20% of full scale, which on a 150 foot pound torque wrench, that's going to be 30 foot pounds. So, when I hit my down arrow key, move on to the next test point, you notice how tolerance minus and tolerance plus get auto calculated for us. So it just speeds up that data sheet creation. So let's say I want to do 60% um, of full scale, right? So now I'll come in, I'll put in 90 foot pounds, that's 60% of 150. When I hit my down arrow key, the software is doing the math for us to speed that up for you, okay? So let's say we've got 100% of full scale. I'm trying to type that correctly. And then now we'll go ahead and put 150 foot pounds. And again, the software is gonna do that 3% calculation for us automatically. So I know with a typical torque wrench, you're also doing the same measurement three times, taking an average. So I will point out to, um, kind of unrelated to the formula concept, but this little test point duplicator is something that you can utilize for that as well, just to help you speed up the process of getting your data points in the system. Okay, 
So let's switch over and let me go and actually show you, um, let me get rid of this test point and this one. Let me go and show you our formula builder. So this is a utility or a feature that is inside of our system wide preferences. So I'm going to my options menu, preferences, and then system wide, okay? So once we get here, you're gonna see the tab called tolerance formulas. Now, like I mentioned before, I already created my percent of reading formula, so, but I am gonna create another one. So let's just call this my percent of reading number two for simple uh, viewing. Now, what I wanna do with this formula is I wanna be able to calculate my tolerance minus and tolerance plus on the fly as I enter in my nominal or standard value. So we're gonna utilize these two fields right here. Now, please note, you do have additional data, excuse me, formula fields available where you can calculate values in additional columns inside the test point system. So hopefully we'll be getting into that in some future videos for you. But let's go and create my formula for the tolerance minus calculation. Now when you do that, you just click on the ellipse icon like I did, and then we're gonna go in and it's gonna open our IndieSoft formula builder. So at this point, you're gonna notice we have all of the variables. The variables are essentially all the columns and all the fields that are available on our test point system. Your numeric attributes um, as well are available inside of here. But in here, this is where I'm gonna go and I'm gonna find my field called standard. At this point, I can just double click you can also drag it over. Now I don't need it twice, so I'm just gonna remove one of those entries. But when I build my formula for my tolerance minus calculation, I wanna take my standard, and I wanna multiply that times, well, I'm gonna throw in my parentheses, I'm gonna do one minus, and then the field that I'm gonna be using next is my default tolerance, right? So inside of here, I'm gonna select T, because that's the value where, or the database field where we put in that tolerance field, okay? So then I'm gonna divide that by 100. And I'm gonna close out my parentheses, okay? So in here, I've got my standard. I'm just taking one, and I'm multiplying that by one minus my default tolerance divided by 100. Now, before I move on, I wanna show you, you do have your calculus functions in here. Um, you've also got your algebraic operators. Now, I'm just kinda of hand typing those in, but of course, we could drag or double click those over as well, okay? So essentially, I've built my, my tolerance minus calculation. So now we need to do the same thing for the tolerance plus, where I'm gonna go into my variables. Again, and, and as you start learning this, you can just type in S. You don't have to go and find it and, and add that over. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the exact same formula, except for we're gonna take one plus um, this time. We're not gonna do one minus. And then we're gonna grab again that default tolerance or field Divide that by 100, and then we'll just close those parentheses. Now, just to point this out, let's say I leave an extra set of parentheses in there. Now, we're gonna let you know that your algebraic expression's not quite right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and fix that and hit okay, okay? So now I've created this formula called percent of reading two. So now that's in my system. So let's go back to my equipment view, and um, in here, Let's say that I go in and I want to utilize that formula, right? So I'm going to choose my percent of reading two. And this time, let's say I don't want a 3% calculation. Let's say we're going to do this at 5%, right? And now I already had my data points. So what I could do is I can right click and just reapply my new tolerance and formula. And you'll see how it changed my formula to be now a 5% of reading as opposed to three. But just for quick, simple viewing, I type in 100, you're gonna see that's now set to, you know, uh, 100 foot-pounds minus 5%, which would be 95 foot-pounds is my lower limit, and 105 is my upper limit. So hopefully this video can get you started in using our formula builder. I do intend to do some additional videos for the, the formula builder in the future for you. And um, like I said, I, I, I hope you guys do get the opportunity to tune into our webinar later on today. Um, if you cannot, we are going to have that recorded and we'll be distributing a link and uh, you can view that on our YouTube page later on. But I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to everyone soon. Thank you.